<laughs> Hello everyone and Happy New Year! Oh my god. Absolutely love the smell of party poppers. I wonder what that is, is that gunpowder? It can't be. It must be some sort of, like, fiery thing. It just smells well nice. By the time he's 13, he'll be sniffing glue out of a plastic bag! And I thought I would start 2024 off with something that I've never actually done before, and I'm quite surprised I've never done it before. <laughs> We're having my voice there. Before. The E at the end of before just didn't want to come out. Before. I'm sure my balls are dropping further or something. I'm proper struggling getting words out recently. My voice keeps cracking and everything. Don't stay! Am I reversing? Am I going through puberty again? That would be fun. Oh no, it wouldn't be fun. Maybe I'm just starting to go through puberty. <laughs> but yes, this is something I've never done before. And I'm surprised when I was at college and stuff, I never used a pottery wheel. I've done ceramics before and I've worked with clay and made pots and cups and bowls and all sorts. But I've never actually done it on the official wheel. So today, that's what I'm going to be trying out. I bought a little mini pottery wheel, which might actually end up being a bit of a naff pottery wheel. Because it looked like it was for children but I didn't want to spend a fortune. But we'll give it a go and see if I can make some like little cool dishes or something. <laughs> okay, let's get this opened and see what it's like. Also, isn't this a weird ankle? We never see me kind of down. It, it feels very kind of on the floor, doesn't it? Usually my camera's kind of up here. I'll end up looking up there thinking the camera's up there and it's not. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh, the feel of that's horrible. Ooh. You know when something makes you proper cringe? That thing, it's not even like a sponge, it's like a weird, horrible, like that floral form. Can you remember when I tried that? That's what it feels like. Awful. Horrible. Right, so we've got like a little plate thing. Got some tools there. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of cute. I bought a yellow one because I thought the yellow one looked fun. That's so strange. They've actually wrapped this in a Ziploc bag. Why? Why do that for? Oh, so this doesn't look too bad, actually. And I'm assuming this thing kind of clips around there just to kind of catch all the bits of water and stuff. How does this fit together? This doesn't fit together. Liar. How the hell do you get that together? This extraordinary creature is half blind, half deaf, and this is just about as fast as it can move. You would think it would just slot in, but it doesn't seem to want to do that. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I did there. Oh, got it. <sighs> okay. It does fit. I can't... Ugh. You just have to force it. Sometimes I don't like to force things together because I feel like I'm going to break them. And usually I do break them. Right, okay, that's on, I think. It's not on very well, but it's as good as it's gonna get. I think this thing fits onto here. It's like the little... Does it fit onto there? It didn't come with any instructions. I'm having to guess all of this, by the way. I'm assuming that's a smaller one of these, if you want to do a smaller pot, even though this is tiny. I don't know why you'd want to do something that small. I'm assuming this is supposed to go on here. Oh, yeah, it does. Again, you just have to force it. And then this plugs into here. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that I think a traditional pottery wheel, it's actually controlled by your foot and you have a foot pedal and that controls the speed of things. This doesn't. You have to use your hand to turn the knob which is very impractical because your hand's going to be covered in clay. That's what I get for spending what like 20 quid on something. Oh my god that goes well fast. Are you kidding? This isn't too bad actually, for 20 quid, not bad at all. So I think I'm gonna get a little bit of water and just try and make some little pots. I do have some clear, I just bought some air drying clear and we'll just have a piss around, see what I can do. I've made a huge mistake. I do have a little Jack Russell who keeps butting his head against my door and is clearly wanting to be in, but I'm not letting him in because I've just had him out for a walk and he's absolutely filthy. He is not coming inside of here. He can look as cute as he wants, it's not happening. It's kind of weird, he's got into like a proper habit of jumping onto my bed and being in my bed when I go and get ready for bed. So as soon as I leave my room and like brush my teeth and wash my face and everything, he takes that opportunity to get inside my bed. A little bastard. <laughs> okay, so I think what I want to make first is a little vase. We'll see how a vase goes and then depending on how that goes, we'll see if I can make anything else. Bit of clay off. Let's see how this is gonna look. Turn around. Oops. I think you need to wet it or something, don't you? And like get it like all stuck onto here. I'm sure this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I think that's right. This, this wheel's shit. This wheel's completely shit. As soon as you put any pressure on, it stops turning. It's not supposed to do that. Unless do I need to go full power? Oh wait, oh wait, no I think it does work. I'm speaking too soon, look at that. Right, I need to turn it down. Oh my god. They chuck it, don't they? Hang on, let's chuck it on. Go slow this time. Doesn't want to stay in the middle. 
steer. I feel like it needs to be wetter. Really wet. Hang on. This is really difficult. I did not think it was going to be this difficult just to start something off. And then we just, you want to kind of... I don't want it to go any faster just in case. Okay, we'll stay at that speed. Maybe I need to use a tool. Are you just going to steer? I don't trust this. I feel like I'm going to get a face full of clay at some point. Let's try your tool, see if this helps. I'm just going to try and start it off with the tools and then hopefully I can get my fingers in. Oh yeah, oh, that's sexy. I feel like my clay is a bit too hard. I'm sure they use softer clay for this. Maybe it's go full force, right? Turn the speed right up, see if I can do anything with it. Right, more water. Oh my god. Stop! Hang on. No, you're so off centre. Right, okay. Oh my god, look at me go. I don't feel like I'm in control of this. I don't feel like I'm in control of this at all. I can do that, but I can't really do the sides. Oh, that's squidgy. I like that. I'm probably just fingering the clay. <laughs> I don't understand how you get the sides to like be kind of... I feel like I've got the wrong clay. Try using a tool. I feel like it's supposed to be a bit sexier. I don't feel like I'm making it very sexy. This is supposed to be a very sexy activity. That's attached, so that's good. Maybe if I just pour loads of water on it. Do we honestly think this is ever gonna look like a vase? Not in a million years. Let's go full whack. Oh, there we go. Yeah! Look, look at me. I'm a proper potter. Let me get our sponge out. I think you're supposed to wet this, aren't you? There we go. I do not feel in control. This is really hard. The thing is as well, I think this is meant for kids. I can't see a kid being able to use this. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm getting the hang of it now. I feel like I'm becoming more sexy. Oh my God, Patrick, what you doing here? Oh my God. Have you got something in your pocket? Are you just happy to see me? Oh, not now, later. We'll do it later. I think the film Ghost definitely made like pottery wheels and ceramics and stuff very, very sexy. They're like a proper sexy activity. But in reality, I don't think it is a very sexy activity. I feel like I'm getting there, but it's taken a very long time. I don't think it's supposed to take this long on a normal pottery wheel. Turn it up a bit more. Oh my God, I shouldn't have turned it up more. Oh, there we go. This is actually surprisingly powerful for such a little thing. Hey, check me out. Oh my God, I think I'm making something. I don't feel like I'm in control of what I'm making. Oh no, no, it's broke. No, it's taking me so long to do that. I'll just patch it together, it's fine. Maybe it's more on the outside. <laughs> See, this is why you need the foot pedal to operate the speed because it's too hard to control when your hands are busy. Oh, I feel like I'm getting into it now. I don't... Oops, put you back on. I'll attempt to put you back on, I can't do it. Oh, that bit's come off. Ah! Slow down, slow down. Ah! Oh, I lost a bit of it. Where did it go? Where did the pot go? It completely just vanished. This is so difficult. Hang on, I think I need more clear. I feel like I've had a little bit of a practice and now I'm gonna try and actually make a vase. I was trying to make a vase before, but I'm shit. I just wanted to get the feeling of this. And I've definitely felt this. Pervert! Ah! Take that off and I'm gonna start again. I'm just kind of knead this together, make it nice and nice and wet. The wetter, the better. Oh, that rhymed. Oh, I love rhyming. And then just push you on. Oh, this feels nice. This feels like it's gonna be a vase. Give a little slap. I just spat everywhere. Okay, let's go again. I'm gonna start off slow. And I'm gonna use this tool in the center just to get my hole started. I'll probably just go a bit faster. And maybe it's the sponge. I don't think the sponge does anything. I know potters do use them, but I don't understand what the point of them is. <laughs> Too fast, too fast. I don't understand how anyone is gonna make anything on this pottery wheel. It feels too intense. I don't feel like I'm in control at all. Sometimes I do and then other times I don't. Very strange feeling. It also just wants to fall apart. Connect together, please. You just can't be scared of it. has a mind of its own. <gasps> I know I'm making this look incredibly hard, but it is actually hard. I'm not just making it look hard for the sake of making it look hard. It's really difficult. Unless I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think I am. 
I feel like it's gonna break my table. <laughs> I think potters have to proper like feel, don't they, what they're actually doing. It's a very tactile activity, and a very tactile kind of craft. I'm trying to feel what it wants to feel like. I feel like all it wants to do is slip off. Maybe try the sponge again. It's just breaking apart. Add more water. Yeah, it definitely needs lots of water. I think doing it like this is the best way because then it doesn't splash in your face. <gasps> Stop. It just wants to fall apart. I don't understand how you're supposed to get it to start like going up and hollow without it breaking apart. Maybe I need to, actually I tell you what, turn it right down. I'm gonna have to need this because like look at it, it's just breaking apart. I can imagine if I was using a proper potter's wheel, this would be such a nicer kind of activity. This thing is just, it's got a mind of its own. It really does. Try again. I'm getting clear absolutely everywhere. Oh, can you hear that rain? Oh my god, it never stops raining in this country. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. It feels impossible. Because A, it wants to fall off the little pedestal. And B, it wants to break apart. And C, as soon as I like put any force on it, it stops moving. Say I want to put some proper force in here. And then all of a sudden it stops. And you can't do anything. I feel like you have to be like so light with it. But then if you're light with it, you can't control it. It, it just what, does what it wants to do. So I think it's literally impossible to make anything on this stupid pottery wheel. I don't understand why they did an electric motor one. Why didn't they just use? a wheel one, it would have probably been cheaper to make anyway. Using a tool isn't sexy, it's 100% not sexy. It's supposed to be all about the hands. Come on, just start traveling up, that's all I need you to do, Claire. I just need you to start using, not necessarily gravity, but the opposite of gravity, and start working your way up. If anyone's ever bought one of these pottery wheels, I hope they know what it's actually like to use. Because if no one's ever bought one, they're gonna think I'm stupid. But it is the hardest thing to use. This is not what a pottery wheel should feel like. I know I've never used one before, but this isn't this isn't it. It's the it's the pottery wheel. It's not it's not me. I swear down it's not me. It's not going wrong because of me. It's this shitty pottery wheel. <laughs> no wonder it was cheap. I would honestly find it easier to make a vase without the wheel. That's how much this is. Is, like limiting my ability to do anything with the clay because like I could just take it off I could literally just take it off Ugh, I've got it in my mouth because like I could literally do this and make a vase quicker than what I can with that it's 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 literally it's a hindrance that's what it is it's a hundred percent a hindrance it's not helping us actually make what I want to make it's stopping us making what I want to make it is the opposite of what it's supposed to be it's an anti pottery wheel buy one of these things Oh, oh, that went all over. I forgot I had water in. Oh, look at the state of this. I hope that washes out. It's because I was slagging it off, you see. It got revenge. But anyway, if you're wanting to make pottery, don't buy this pottery wheel. You'll find it on Amazon and elsewhere because it's shit. Absolutely shite. See, I've already made a much better vase. I know it still looks crap, but I've gotten further ahead with it than I have with the pottery wheel. The pottery wheel, I was just stood at a standstill. At least, with just my hands, I've made some sort of container. Ah, oh, well, this was a shit start to 2024. And I had a good feeling 2024 was going to be a really good year. But now, I'm starting to feel like it's gonna be a bit of a shit one because of you. Okay, well, I think that just about does it for trying a pottery wheel or trying spinning pottery. And this video has been a shitter, not because of me. I'm the first person to say if I've been crap with something or I can't get my head around something, this has absolutely nothing to do with me. Makes a change. And has everything to do with this crappy, crappy little pottery spinner. I bought it because it was cheap. I think it was about £20. Honestly, it's worth nothing. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. I literally felt like I was trying to build a pot and it just it just it wouldn't do anything I, I was just I was just literally playing with a ball of clay but if you like the fact that I've alerted you to these little pottery wheel things and how shit they are so you don't waste your money in the future then make sure to give this video a thumbs up but anyway I'm gonna go away and get cleaned up and hope that this kind of diluted clay mixture washes off my clothes because these are my favorite jogging
joggers as well. And if this little toy has ruined my joggers, I'm gonna be well pissed off. But I'll see you next week for a brand new video. I feel like I haven't even had time to like properly chat about anything today because I've been too preoccupied trying to get this thing to work. And the worst thing about something like this is I don't mind it if it's me being a bit shit, but when it's something that is just so shite, it just doesn't wanna do anything. It just leaves me in a point of like, what do I do? Where do I go from here? You've proper ruined New Year's for us. I hope you know that. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. I'm so f disappointed in ya. Actually, you know what? I think I might be a bit mad. I don't think I'm disappointed. I think I am angry with it. <laughs>